Hey! Did you hear King Mosiah the First is getting ready to make his son Benjamin the new king and prophet? Ugh, I hope he's a good ruler. <sighs> Me too. Well, Benjamin's the king now. He's got the small plates of Nephi and all the other records to keep up with spiritual and historical things. Hmm, what do you think he'll write? Hmm, good question. The Lamanites have invaded. King Benjamin is leading us to battle. I better get my armor. Hey, come quick. Everyone is gathering to the temple to hear the king speak. Whoa, it's so cool that he's also a prophet. They had to build a tower just so everyone can hear him. They say King Benjamin is going to make his son Mosiah the new king, lay down some awesome gospel, and give all the people some kind of new name. I'm hoping it's the mighty Mosiahites. Well, I better get going then. Wouldn't want to be late for my own farewell speech. What? what? Was this farmer, prophet, warrior, king? You got it, Benjamin. He's the son of Mosiah I, who led the Nephites from the land of Nephi, found the Mulekites, and united them all into one happy nation. But now, as he nears the end of his life, things are getting critical for his people. They've managed to fight off the invading Lamanites, but the battles have taken a toll. They can't afford to be divided, and they especially can't afford to forget about God. As Benjamin prepares to name his son, Mosiah II, to be the new king, the pressure is on to give the speech of his life, which would forever change his people, and maybe us too. My brothers and sisters, even if we serve God every day with all our might, we would still be unprofitable servants. Wait, unprofitable servants? What does that mean? Does that mean God is losing money on us and we need to pay him back? No. Now imagine if every time parents spent money on their children, they added it to a bill that came due the moment the kids turned 18. Woof. Of course that's not how it works. Parents don't expect to get paid back for the time and money they invest in their kids. Their payment is seeing their kids grow and learn. Our heavenly parents feel the same way. All God requires of you is to keep His commandments. It's like Heavenly Father set up this massive trust fund for us the day we were born, filled to overflowing with all kinds of awesome blessings. Every time we keep God's commandments, He refills our account with even more awesome blessings. So it's impossible to pay God back. Okay, but how do we show God that we appreciate the blessings we've been given? by following the example Jesus and King Benjamin set for us. When we are in the service of others, we are in the service of God. Next, King Benjamin tells his people about a sneak peek he's been given of Jesus' birth and life. As I was sleeping, an angel appeared by my bed and showed me a vision. Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Creator of all things, will be born to a mother called Mary. He will perform mighty miracles such as healing the sick, raising the dead, and curing the blind, the lame, and the deaf. He will suffer hunger, thirst, and exhaustion, Men will crucify him, but Jesus will rise again on the third day. He will do this so that men and women can return to live with God if they follow his commandments and repent of their sins. I testify that Jesus is the Son of God. Now, the natural or regular man or woman is an enemy to God and will be forever unless he yields to the Spirit and becomes a saint through Jesus' atonement. 
Yes, we must become like a child. Hang on, King Benjamin isn't saying we should be childish. He's saying we should be childlike, with an open mind and heart, accepting what their caring parents put them through. School, time out, dishes. A child trusts their parents when they're taught about Jesus. And Jesus, the ultimate child, is the ultimate example of how to be meek, submissive, and full of love. He's obedient to his Father and is holy in the service of others. Knowing that we can't earn salvation, but knowing that we can love God and love others, King Benjamin practiced what he preached, and so the people listened. This is an amazing talk. What is happening in my heart? A heart attack? No, it's like a love attack. I love you, man. I love everybody. I feel so happy. And wow, I really want to be obedient to God. <laughs> What's happening to me? What's he going to teach next? And what about that new name? Are we supposed to call ourselves Nephites or Mulekites? Uh, Mighty Morphin Mosiahites? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for these answers and much more in next episode's epic second half of King Benjamin's Speech. hope this presentation has helped to bring you a little closer to Jesus Christ. Now it's your turn to study and continue to learn line upon line. So go read your scriptures.